In this video, we're going to go over set theory just by looking at the practice question that requires us to shade the given sets. So um, we've been given a Venn diagram, then we're required to shade A intersection B and many more questions. So we'll start with that. So we have our A intersection B there. So what does that mean? That requires us to shade the region that is uh, common between A and B. So if you are to shade that region, what you're going to have is this part. Because that is the region that is part of um, both A and what? And B. So you look at the point where they are intersecting. So basically this is their intersection point. Because this region is part of B. It's also part of what? It's also part of A. Okay. So that is how you get to answer the first one. Then moving on to the second part of the question. It is requiring us to shade A intersection B union C. So I'll write that. A intersection B union C. So whenever you're simplifying a set, basically the simplest way of approaching it is by starting with what's in the brackets. So if you look at what is what's in the brackets there, we are trying to combine B together with what? Together with uh, C. So I'll shade the entire region of B union C. So it would require us to shade the entire region of B. So that is our B. Then we also shade what? The region that is part of C. That is what, that's what it means when you say union of B and C. Okay. So now, we have our, our B union C. So we need to find the intersection with A. So let's try to shade A now. I'll use a different color so that we see where they are going to be intersecting. I'll use a blue. So if you shade A, this is A. Okay. So we've shaded A. So now if you look at this, we are trying to find the intersection between B union C which we've shaded in yellow, then A which we've shaded in blue. So the point of intersection, meaning that where you have you can see both colors, that is our region that is supposed to shade. So in summary, if you are to draw this, what you're going to have is eh, something like that. You have A, B, and what? And our C. So I'll write that that is our A, that is our B and our C. So what region is having both colors? So if you look at the diagram that we have, it's basically this region. Okay. So you can even shade it. So it's basically this region. The region part of A, which is also part of B union C. That is the intersection region. So basically that is what you're supposed to shade. Okay, let's move on to the third one. So if you look at the third part, it is C minus A intersection B. That is our third question. So we have C minus A intersection B. So we need to understand that this is the same as what? Remember we said if you have um, A minus B, basically this is equivalent to A intersection B complement because you are trying to talk about the region that is part of A and not in what? Not part of B. So you, you exclude the intersection of the two. So C minus A intersection B is basically going to be C intersection A intersection B what? Complement. If you want to understand it better, what we can do is we can shade it. So if we have um, the three sets, A, B, and C. Okay. Let's say that's what we have. So we have our A, we have our B, we then have our C there. Okay. So C minus A intersection B, it means that we are interested in the region that is part of C. And what is our C in this case? What region is part of C? So this is the region that is part of C. This is the entire region of C. Now we are trying to exclude the part that is part of the intersection of B, A and B. So which one is the intersection of A and B? So the intersection region is this one. So we exclude that part. That is the region that we are excluding. So what we are going to remain with is um, basically just um, this part. Because we are looking at the part of C, excluding A intersection B. So the intersection is what I have shaded in red. So the green part is what we are interested in. So if you want to present it in a different way, you can also say basically, it's region of C intersection with what? The region outside A intersection B complement. So if you talk about A intersection B complement, it's a region outside the red part. So this is um, 
A intersection, B complement. So now, we want to find the intersection with C, which will still come out to be what? This region that we've shaded in green. Okay, so that is why we're saying this is equivalent to that part. So now, let's try to represent it on the on the Venn diagram, in summary, what we've said. So basically, what we have is, um, in fact, I've actually even answered the question. Let me just show what uh, I did. So what we have is, uh, we are saying we have our A, we have our B, and our C. So when we say C minus A intersection B, it means that the region of C without the intersection of A and B. And remember we've said for our intersection, is basically the intersection of A and B is this region. So we are excluding that from C. Meaning that what we are going to remain with is uh, the region that I'm going to shade in a different color here. So what we are going to remain with is this part. We are only excluding the intersection of what? A and B. Okay. So you've shaded C minus A intersection B. Okay. So that is how we approach it. If you want, you can also change your form. You approach it using that form where you say shade C, then intersect it with A intersection B complement. You're still going to come up with the same solution for that part. Let's try to move on. Let's try to look at the fourth one. We see what we're going to shade. So if you look at um, B minus C, this one is direct. This one is straightforward. So looking at this kind of Venn diagram where we have A, B, and C in such a way, you have your A, you have your B, and your C. So B minus C means a region of B without what? Without C. So we are required to shade B without C. So we are only going to shade the region of B without C. So remember this is a part of, this is, this is part of C. So we are going to exclude it. We are going to exclude this part, which is um, C. We are only interested in the region of B without it. So what we are going to shade is uh, the entire region of B, except the region of B, which is also part of C, because it's saying B minus C. Okay. That's easy. That's easy. So what about if you say it's C minus B? When they say C minus B, it requires you to shade the region part of C, excluding that which is part of B. Okay. Because we are saying that is basically C intersection what? B complement. Meaning that you are only interested in the region that is part of C and outside your B. Okay. So we are on um, this one. So we have um, A intersection. B intersection, C complement, complement there. Yeah. So how do you get to shade this one? So what you can do is you can try to simplify what you have first of all. So you have A intersection. So from De Morgan's law, this can become you distribute the complement. You are going to have B complement union C. So a complement of a complement is basically what they will cancel out. The intersection becomes a union, then the B becomes the complement. So basically, that is uh, the simplified form of um, the statement that we have. So let's try to shade that. So looking at the sets that we have, we have um, our A, we have our B, we also have our what? Our C there. So you have your A, you have your B, and your C. So you want to shade the intersection of A with B complement union C. So the approach that we're trying to use is first of all by shading A, then you command shade. So let's start with first of all see with what's in the brackets. Let's shade B complement combined with C. So B complement we are interested in the region outside what? We're interested in the region outside B. Let me even put the um, Venn diagram around. Okay, so that's what we have there. So now, um, this is our inversor set, by the way. This is our inversor set. So now, what are we trying to do? We're trying to shade B complement union C. So which one is our B complement? It's a region outside B. So I'll use a different color for that. I'll use, um, I can use uh, red for B complement. So um, B complement, region outside B. So every part outside B. So not outside B, outside B. 
so notice that i'm not shading anything within b i'm just shading outside b so now it's supposed to be combined so union says tells you to say combine so i can continue by shading every region that is part of c i can even use um i'll use the same color since we are it's the same set b complement union c so i'll shade every entire part of c so this is going to include a certain part of b okay so that region is shaded why is it shaded it is shaded because it is part of c we are saying the union okay so we have b complement unionized with c that's what we have the all the entire region that we've shaded this is all b complement unionized with c so now we need to find the its intersection with a so let's shade a i can use green for a so this is our a okay so now our solution is going to be where you are seeing both green and red and what region is that so it's basically this region okay so that's the region that we are interested in in so what is the region that we are interested in and we can even shade it so let's have to come up with um, our separate venn diagram somewhere just surround so what we have is we are saying we have our a we have our b we also have our c there so uh, we have our a our b and our c so what region is shaded it's only this region okay this region is also shaded even this part is shaded okay so it's only a small part of the a which is not shaded so basically that is our solution there the other approach that you can use is by looking at it as uh, you have your a you're trying to find its intersection with b intersection c complement complement so what would you say you know that what is in the brackets there let's try to use that approach we try to see what we're going to have so we have um, our a intersection b so b intersection c complement if you can remember is what it's the same as b minus what b minus c complement so what is your b minus c basically if you talk about b minus c you are trying to talk about the region what what region are you talking about the region of b without what without c so if you you have um, this part your a your b and your c so what region of b minus c do we have in this case so the region of b without c means that you exclude this part this part of c exclude it then you only shade the remaining part of b but then that's not the region that we are interested so if we are going to shade b minus c we are going to shade this part okay that is our b minus c in this case now we are not interested in b minus c we are interested in what in its complement so what does it mean we're supposed to shade the region outside that so let's try to shade outside that part because we are interested in its complement so what you're going to have is uh, this outside that so this part so we're not only going to shade b minus c because we're interested in what in its complement okay so now we are trying to intersect it with what we're intersecting it with uh, our a so let's shade a so if you shade your a so now i said where the lines are meeting basically that's where you have your a so equally you've seen that it's only this part of a that is excluded only this region is excluded so basically we're going to shade this region which is going to give us what we have on our right so whichever method you work with you're still get going to have the same solution okay let's try to look at the, the final one so for the final part of the question what we have is we have um, a complement intersection b minus c so this one is straightforward we can just straightforward we can just draw what we have so we have a we have our b and we have our c there so this is our a that is our b and that is our c if you want you can even draw okay so this is our universal set so we're trying to shade b minus c so i will shade b minus c using a different color so for b minus c it means region of b without c so remember 
this entire region is part of C. So we are trying to extrude it from B. So our B minus is just going to be that region of B without what? Without C. Then for our complement, we're going to use a different color, meaning that we are trying we're interested in the region outside what? Outside A. So we're not going to shade in A, we're only going to shade outside it. Let me even use a green there. Okay. So outside A. So notice that this region outside A is um, this part. Okay, because this is where our A is passing. So outside that, that is what we are going to what? To shade. Okay. So now, where exactly are the colors meeting? So if you look at where they are meeting, it's basically which part? So it's basically this part. This is where these lines are what? Are meeting. So that is our region of our interest. The region that is outside A and part of B minus what? B minus C. So in summary, what we're saying is uh, it's this part. If you try to show it clearly, what you have is... Uh, so if you look at the, the approach that I've been working with, it requires you to have a draft. Then you get to have your final solution that your lecturer is in need of. So it's basically just this part. And that is your shading. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the next video that is going to answer the same, shade the same sets that we have on a different diagram that is going to come out like this, where you have your, your C inside there. So here what you have is you have your N, you have your B, then you have your C. So we're going to shade the same ones in the next video. Make sure you check it out. Thank you very much.